Let your imagination take flight and join us on a journey here at Cedar School as we celebrate reading and embark on new adventures through our story time with special guest readers. As Anna Quinlan said so beautifully, books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. Enjoy our story. My name is Erin Miner and I am a special education teacher at Cedar Elementary School. Today we're going to read the story Hanukkah Bear by Eric A. Kimmel. Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Baba Brena took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Baba Brena was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Baba Brena always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many than usual. Tonight was special. Tonight the rabbi was coming. Baba Brena hurried to get ready. Just then she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're early. Nice to see you, growled the old bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Barba Brena tugged at Old Bear's fur. Old Bear growled. Rawr. Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It's chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The lackeys taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Rawr. Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we've lit the menorah. Rrr. That's right. I know you were just teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you see the blessings? <sighs> Baba Brena stuck a mat, struck a match and lit the shame's candle. Then she lit one for the first night. Old Bear muddled and growled. <sighs> who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Baba Brena sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. <laughs> Growled Old Bear. Don't worry, I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Baba Brena spread the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win! Baba Brena swept the nuts into her apron. Roar, 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 old bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi, it's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. Baba Brena opened the oven door and took out a uh, platter piled high with steaming potato lackeys. Old Bear sniffed the lackeys as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brain asked. What do you think he prefers? Do you think he likes sour cream or jam? Let's see. Roar! Old Bear growled. Jam! I thought so, Bubba Brain. I smeared five big lackeys with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them all down. Baba Brena laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. Roar. I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that. 
Bubba Brain has said. Old Bear ate and ate until the lackeys were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brain's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the lackeys are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brainna took off a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Oh. Old Bear licked Bubba Brainna's face. Bubba Brainna br uh, blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. Old Bear shuffled to the floor. Phew, he growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Bubba Brainna was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Bubba Brainna. All her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Bubba Brainna said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more lackeys. The rabbi came by, came by. He ate them all. Hmm. Bubba Brainna, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your lackeys, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Baba Brena rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening. Rabbi, I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you, he talks like you, and he even has your beard. Hmm. Just then the children cried, look at the floor, bear tracks, a bear. And I thought it was a rabbi. Bubba Brainna had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear, or a very foolish Bubba Brainna. Ah, well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy, happy Hanukkah too, and so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and a bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato lackeys. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear, and happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. I hope you have a great season.